COVID has hit a lot of charities hard, hampering fundraising efforts. But the dedicated volunteers at Golf for Kids are hoping they can raise as much money as possible with their virtual event and silent auction, which is on now. Tess Van Stratton shows us why in this week's Vital People. But which one do you use the most? For 18-year-old Jonathan Jingra, this e-bike he received from Golf for Kids and Help Fill a Dream has given him freedom and independence. What does this bike mean for you now? <laughs> Taking off to the moon. <laughs> Jonathan was born with health issues so severe, doctors told his parents it's a miracle he survived. Jonathan was born with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia, which left him with only 20 to 30 percent of normal lung tissue. He could not swallow. He could not breathe on his own. Uh, he couldn't eat. Jonathan also had complete hearing loss, and he's had to have dozens of surgeries throughout his childhood. He had an artificial spine at three, an artificial hearing at two, and he went through surgeries every four to six months for over 10 years. After his final surgery, Jonathan's wish for an e-bike was granted by Help Fill a Dream, thanks to the money raised by the dedicated volunteers at Golf for Kids. When we first started to meet a lot of these families, I mean, it hits you in the gut. It's, uh, it's emotional. It, you just can't believe some of the things that uh, families have to deal with. Hey, Murray. Dale Douglas and Murray Stewart started the Gulf for Kids charity 23 years ago, and they've raised millions of dollars to help dozens of local charities. We culminated five years ago with our first million dollar event, so a million dollars raised in that afternoon. It was amazing, it was powerful. Followed up by another million, followed up by another million. Then COVID hit, forcing last year's event online, but it still managed to raise more than half a million dollars to make a difference in our community. And will operate here. And they're doing it again this year with another virtual fundraiser hosted by Check Said Bain. And changing lives. There are also more than 175 amazing silent auction items you can bid on now until September 12th at golfforkids.net as they try to raise as much as they can for charities hard hit by COVID. Overall, the need continues to go up, sadly, and the funding has taken a nosedive. So it's more important than ever right now that uh, everybody does what they can. As for Jonathan... Do you slow down? <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> there's no slowing him down now. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.